What I'm you come out here you, for? You, you, left, you left one of your lashes, your lashes, your lashes in my car. Really? So, so you came here because I left I'll, a lash yeah, in the I'll car? Bring back. So you need to come on out to the car and get it. No, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I got a whole bunch of more lashes in there. Welcome back to the House of Ajay, No Narc Network TV, and Oshun Ajay exclusive, my people. I am the Oracle, Oshun Ajay. This is the perfect example of a narcissist who has run out of narcissistic supply, okay? Meaning that they have absolutely exhausted and burned out their main source. The main source has absolutely broken away, taken her power back. She is living her life. She has found new love. She has found joy and peace. And the narcissist has found himself left out in the cold. Check it out. Why you, why you the phone? What you want? Why you phone call? It don't matter why you answer the phone. Matter. It do matter, man. What do you want? Look, for one, I ain't coming for you. For you. For you. For you. Dumbass narcissistic statement number one. Okay. <laughs> He obviously wants to come back, okay? But his first thing that he says is, I didn't come over here for you. Then why are you at her door? <laughs> okay, okay, Nancy, what you come over here for? You, you, you left one of your lashes in my car. Dumbass statement number two, okay? She left one of her lashes in the car. See, narcs, they won't even take time enough to make up a, a believable excuse or lie. They just say any damn thing, okay? This is an obvious act of desperation, okay? A lash, like how did you find it in a whole car? And then where do you have it at that she needs to come to the car to get it? I mean, is it like stuck to the rear view mirror or something? <laughs> Well, I don't want it. I got a whole bunch of more lashes in there. Why, why, why you want to do this anyway? So this is the real reason why he's here, okay? So if she had stepped out the door and headed towards the car to actually go retrieve a lash, this was the bullshit conversation that he was trying to bait her into, and she knew it. Listen, it's people, over between people, us. Hey, people, that's you, got, you got a new man and all that. I don't move on, move on, move on. I, quit. You, you know what? You been. You know what? He good to me too. He, he, he good been, to me. You, you for one, you been cheating, on, been cheating, on, been cheating the whole relationship. <laughs> Nah, brother. <laughs> I'm sure you were the one who were cheating the whole relationship. And I'm sure one of those days that you decided to go out and have you a little bit of fun, I'm sure she locked the door behind your ass and left your ass out there. That's what had happened. Okay? No, you the one that was cheating. You, you, been held you, you know what? Been held and he don't stress me out. I, I was stressing you out. You, you know, you his family love me. I love his family. Oh, they they don't, do, yeah, your family, family. I didn't talk about me the whole yeah. time. So like most narcissists, he did not defend her against his family and friends talking uh, negatively. Probably didn't even know her. But then he had the nerve to turn around and say this. You, you want to buy, buy out my family, out my family, out my family though. Because all they did was yeah, keep up messing to your life. So a narcissist with a narcissistic family, but he wants to blame her because she don't want to vibe with him. Okay, who wants to vibe that damn low? Somebody, you happy? You ain't happy? Look, I'm very happy. That's the problem. You know, you know, change toenail color and all that. You know, I done gained 20 pounds, can't you tell? This yeah, happy, happy weight. That ain't happy weight. That ain't no you stress. Like you eat. You know, That's you were stressing me out. I had a long foot without you. Tell, tell him to come out the door. He ain't here. He, he, matter of fact, he went to get us some food. This brother is hurt, okay? <laughs> That's what he went to. Oh, you got your food. Red oh, lobster. So, you know, we so. eat nothing but the beds. He don't want to have nothing but the beds. I bet you paid for I bet it. I didn't either. Well, I mean, he ain't all that. You I know saw, what? He I got a good he, job. I saw how he looked. He looked. He looked. He ain't all that. So he saw how he looked, and he ain't all that, okay? So how did you see how he looked? Might it be that you were stalking Mr. Narcissist? And also... Uh, that's the problem with you pages, okay? I'm speaking tarot right now. A page would be a boy, okay? Um, and a, and a king, you know, a woman is looking for a king, okay? And the well, the last thing that a grown ass woman is is worrying about is how a man looks. The question is, Mister Narcissist, are you a protector and a provider, okay? 
Well, it don't matter. He all that to me, though. That's all that matters. I call his mama name. No, his car is his name. Hey, his name, man. So him still being a page, meaning a young-minded, immature boy in a man suit uh he's obviously jealous of this grown man's car okay and so he just throws out some ludicrous accusation in an attempt to belittle the other man and also to get narcissistic supply because at this point the conversation is pointless why you worry? Why you going around asking yeah, people okay. about it? Did you tell him that that same bed I had you in? I bet you need to trade bed. You know, guess what? We got a whole way. new bed. So he goes from one petty ass point to the next petty ass point throwing out ridiculous accusations that she feels the need to then defend herself against. And this is how an energy vampire operates. All new furniture and all. Oh, Ain't yeah, he yeah, painted yeah, all yeah, through yeah, the house? Sounds like the real man came in and took care of business. Okay. I'm waiting to get him. For what? Like no, you didn't get him over here. That's no, what you need to do. So now he wants to wait till the man gets there because he's trying to find any kind of way he can to throw a wrench in her happiness. Okay? You've been cheating already. You were cheating anyway. Oh, how, 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 how so he wants to wait on the new man so he can try to tell the new man a lie about her being a cheater. Plus, he already used that line earlier. So he's obviously caught up in hypnotic rhythm as well. <laughs> Come over here for it. You need to stop popping up too, cause he would have been I here. I don't know what would have happened. I, I, I hope he would help. I hope he would help. I got no something way. to say. You just don't want nobody to be happy, cause I, you ain't happy. happy. That part. Be happy. You ain't happy. Oh, I'm very happy. I'm I very can't happy. tell you. Come over here about a leg, one leg, yeah, my left a leg in the I car. Want, I, want nothing, I don't want nothing that would attach to you. I don't want okay, then. So, so just throw it out the window. So according to him, he's absolutely repulsed by anything even remotely attached to her, okay? But instead of just throwing or blowing the one eyelash that he says he found in his car on out the window and letting bygones be bygones, he needed to drive all the way to her house to knock on her door to have her come to his car to get the eyelash out for him, okay? I'm not coming to get nothing. Get and then you calling my mama and my grandma calls oh, and you call over there. I'll tell you rid of your lashes. That's all Whatever you do. So he has called her mother and her grandmother talking about he's just trying to get rid of her lashes. That's all it is. You missed them out there. We were together. You ain't even care about my family. Mama, now you've been you, doing all that. You, I, I started to ask your mama if you move. She told me some no. Nah. It ain't none of your business yeah, what you yeah, ask my, my mama. Yeah, my we still together. We still together. We still together. We this is how you know a narcissist is absolutely insane, okay? He just got done saying that he was so repulsed by her that he just wanted nothing to do with her and he needed everything that belonged to her out of his car, including the very last lash. Now, he's talking about they still together. The insanity should be obvious, okay? I don't, want nothing, I don't want nothing that would attach to you. I don't want to see none of it. You know, my mama like him. We, we still him and my daddy, they wouldn't go play golf the other day. Oh, yeah, they do stuff like that. Yeah, they oh, do. Good. He, he, he going to play golf. He, he want to take me fishing. Not basketball girl, and all that. We, they play golf together. Like I said, you know, people with money, they play golf. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I never come back. But when we still together, we I hope you know that we're together. Man, we is not together. I knew you were crazy. We crazy. We crazy. We ain't together. We ain't together. No, we not. I'm gonna come all up in the house stick and do that. You know what? You can get a bullet till you come yeah, up in him. He ain't paying no bill. He, he paying pay all the bills. Bill. See how easily he baited that information out of her by throwing out a bullshit accusation that he had no way of knowing. This is why we don't engage with narcissists because a conversation with a narc consists of you know them manipulating you out of the information that they need and also draining you of energy. In exchange for the energy that they just stole from you, you get their frustration and anger. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Look, guess what? I don't even work no more. He told you, me to quit working and everything. I'm, I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Because of their psychosis, a narcissist can say something like they're happy for you and in the same breath turn around and say, Y'all have to go down, to go down, to go down. No, no we'll yeah, never go house. down. So because she's not working, his prediction is that they are going to go down, okay? Why is he saying this? For one, he's a hater. And two, because he knows that that's exactly what would have happened had she stayed with him. Okay? Don't, oh, don't call me. You I'm know what? And guess what? I call the people to take your name off this house. You can't do that. Yes, I, I, I can. Got, I got to beat up. 
I got bills, so really, this be a mama. Give me a hard time. This we need to yell in the mold. Yes, we ain't, we ain't breaking up. We ain't breaking up. But didn't you just say? I don't want nothing. I don't want nothing that would test you. I don't want to see none of that. Now you saying? We still together. You know, narcissism is the face of insanity. Wait, he's gonna go. He about to pull up no, in a minute anyway. I'm sitting here and wait. I'm gonna sit out here and wait. Get off this porch. He I, gonna I, think I we been doing something. He think what he wanna think. I know you, you real messy. You real messy. That must still belong to me. So he has given her vagina a name and is still trying to claim it. Talking about fat mama still belongs to me. <laughs> no, she don't need it. He, he, he ain't changed the name or nothing. That's still fat mama. And, and I'm telling you, if I found out he you know called what? me fat mama. He right told me you had my motor blow. He had to go and, and put my whole new motor in there. Look, that's your fault. That's on you. That ain't on me. So he wants to name and claim her vagina, but when she tells him about a problem that she needed help with, like the typical narcissist that he is, he responds with, Oh, it's on you. That ain't on me. When that's he know, you. you know what? Just I go. Worry, Just go. I ain't worrying about him. I'm staying with him till he get here. I got something to say. Can you please I leave? My, I ain't leaving nowhere. I got to speak my mind. I speak my mind. I ain't saying you was all about to eat and stuff. Yeah, they call me. Like I said, don't call my phone no more. I don't care I'm what like, you doing or who I, you I, with. I was, I was at the interview. I was at the interview with the wall. Yeah, you was nobody. at the interview, all right. Whatever. Anyway, you, know. you need to come around the door, get slashed out the car. You ain't gonna go. That's what you can do. Go on, go. I ain't gonna know what they talking about. They talking about he wanna walk around like he the man. So he ain't a man. Look, he, he the man, man right here. I heard he said dope. He said dope. He said dope. He ain't gonna be out here. Don't worry about it. He ain't gonna be out here long. He ain't gonna be out here long. Because they are filled to the brim with hatred and envy, a narc will literally destroy themselves in an attempt to take you down. This reminds me of a scene from the movie Belly. They rolling hard too. They they slang it real good, real good. Might have to drop. Might have to drop a dime on them niggas. Sure. You know what I'm stop. saying? Stop. I don't like that shit. For sure, bro. I don't like that shit. He might try to put the police on. I already know how you get down. I already know he probably came back yet. They probably pulled him over already. How would you do something like that? I don't like that shit. For sure, bro. I don't like that shit. Like I said, if I can't hate, ain't nobody here gonna hate. If anyone ever says that to you, run for the hills, okay? This is not love. This is control. And love ain't got nothing to do with it. If I can't hate, ain't nobody here gonna hate. But everyone else has had him. If I can't hate, ain't nobody here gonna hate. What him and his narc brothers don't realize until it's way too late is that she's already been had. Okay? Well, yes, you it. know what? It's over between well, us. We ain't getting back together. I'm gonna wait out here in the and so the narcissistic fairy tale continues because they don't allow it to end. Okay, so the story will go that he will be driving by their house and stalking like he has been, calling her relatives and crying over spilled milk, okay? Uh, because again, they always come back with too little, too late. Okay, and I'm just going to leave you guys with that um, as a lesson. I hope that someone learned something. Okay, uh, the moral to the story is don't feed the narcs and definitely do not become one of the narcs. Okay, peace.